Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here wearing an appropriate sweatshirt because I am heading to Epcot Center today where yesterday did not make it on Walt's birthday as the recording of this December 6, 2023. The second day that a section has opened at Epcot, Future World is a thing of the past. And new areas have started to rear their heads. I'm gonna go check it out and hopefully get a photograph with a sculpture of the man who thought of the envisioned in his brain this theme park. Also underneath it, I am wearing my Marceline shirt right here. Well, you can kind of see it. Original, so I got the Walt's hometown shirt on. I'm going full Walt today. Join me, shall you? Right here at the clock. I'm not sure if it was already been, it's already moved and I gotta wait another full minute. But it's about 13 minutes till 11, 1047-ish. If you will. It feels really good out here too. Really good. It moved. Okay, I'm going. Short little commute from, I guess you could say, one celebration to another. Celebration Florida to World Celebration Gardens that just opened. It's a lot of celebrations. To quote Walt, we call it Epcot. It's kind of neat that Walt has come home in some sort of form here. Parking over at Dory 407, which should be really easy to remember. That's the area code for this for this area. Oh, very nice. Also, we're a little breezy today. Get a nice little monorail angle here as it's going around. Often to walk, even though the trams are running. Oh, the breeze feels so good out here. It's a really pleasant day. Well, the mic is here. We're wearing sweatshirts. I'm a little chilly because yesterday it was like 90 degrees. Was it? <laughs> Yeah, it was hot. I was in SoCal yesterday. Yeah. Have you seen Hatbox Ghost yet here? No. I got to get over there at some point. I do point. too. Maybe not today, but. Yeah, I need to see him. We need to get over there and say hello to Hattie and in his little weird little spot. Yeah. Out you kind of like find your sweatshirts when it changes weather like this. You just grab what you can find. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about seeing Walt in his, in his park? I said in my video last time I was here and Margaret canceled. So I was disappointed. And oh, because you went to the candlelight procession. Uh, yeah, right? and I wanted to see her. Well, Walt's statue, he ain't canceling. So no, no, I'm he's here. have a good day. He's here, yeah. <laughs> I think, depending on how long the line is, yeah. you might be able to sit next to him. Oh, yeah. So that's I was true. seeing some stuff online yesterday. It was like a 45 to an hour wait to get a photograph with the sculpture of Walt, which is pretty cool. That Walt's, cool. Walt's getting a little, uh, some, getting some nods from the diehards. Yesterday was his birthday. Yep. So the, it's kind of neat that they opened up the World Celebration area on, on his birthday. I think he's 123. Is that it? Yeah, he was born wow. in 1901. Yeah. So I guess it'd be, yeah. well, it'd be 122 years, but it would have been his 123rd birthday. Yeah, All right, now we got to decide which way of the fork in the road do we want to go. Do we want to go down the right tunnel here? Or do we want to go this way towards connections and all that? So over there is the new Moana area with both, with both have you done a video there? Have you seen yeah. it? So Mike and I have both been to the Moana section. We're probably not going to cover that today, but next to that is the garden area of World Celebration. How do you feel about Future World not existing anymore? No more Future World. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's been so long since I've been in that area. Just yeah. open it up. I don't care what it is. I was saying <laughs> earlier that the Future World is now in the past. It is. <laughs> we got to go back. To the, to the somewhere. All right, I am ready to see. So I saw Walt at D23. He was there. I got a photo. They call him Toilet Walt. Oh, he's like, it looked like he was sitting on a toilet. Now they've moved him off those boxes. So now it doesn't look as much like he's going in number two. But <laughs> now he, they've take, he's thinking Walt. He's the thinker Walt. They call uh -huh. him Dreamer Walt. I think. Dreamer Walt. Okay. Dreamer Walt, thinker Walt. Some, some melanoma, carcinoma, some kind of a noma. All right, let's get in there. That was a Fletch reference, by the <laughs> yeah. way. All right, let's let's head in and see Walt. The last time I saw him was the last E23 a year and a half ago. Got a photo of him somewhere. I'll see if I can dig that photo up, and uh, I'll 
I'll try, to, I'll try to show. I'll see if I can find the photo. I might not even have it anymore, to be honest. There it is, officially World Celebration. All right, directly ahead was where Fountain of Nations was. You can kind of look through a lot of trees here now. And there certainly is a lot of seating areas. I like the little seating areas over here. Where our Fountain of Nations was is a unique looking, dis unique looking art decor garden area. I don't know what that's supposed to be there in the middle, but it's kind of an interesting looking, I don't know what that is. But tons and tons of trees. I mean, there's just like foliage everywhere through here. All right, I will say the music is really loud through here so I don't really know how relaxing it would be all right I got some character meet and greets in here there's Daisy kind of walking over here too as well so yeah there are character meet and greets in this section and my first thought is they got rid of fountain and nations for this I don't really know what this is there's no fountain here anymore there's just this like what is this all right I mean, now over here there are a lot of like eating areas lots of chargers I kind of feel like this whole section is definitely gonna be a lot nicer to look at it at night. Kind of reminds me of an extension of Connections Cafe. You got the chargers over here. You get some food, have a snack. It's like a meet. It's almost like a big meeting area, like a, you know, like a relaxing meeting area with a very unique. Well, somebody just ran by with a very unique garden area over there that resembles something that you would. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, obviously, you can see what that kind of resembles from the, from the aerial view. All right, I love this. You got the Epcot symbol below the area here. So this is all the Epcot symbol matchup for the. I'm gonna see if I can get an aerial view. Yeah. So it's this symbol right here, but it is along the ground. Micah's walking right on the Epcot symbol right now. That's pretty awesome. Now this area over here is not open yet, but Micah was kind of pointing out that kind of has the Spaceship Earth kind of emblems, or like you know, just like the way Spaceship Earth has. It. And over there is the Moana Journey of Water inspired by Moana, but this right here was where the Communicore used to be. They tore that building down, now they're building this new building, not open. I do really like this massive elbow room walking through here. That is, that's pretty good, I like the elbow room. Now they do have a pretty lengthy line over here to get a photo with the Walt sculpture. sculpture. So we're gonna kind of survey that out. And they put up these partitions here, these plant partitions. So Walt is right over there. I would imagine once the queue line after a few months, and interest kind of wanes down a little bit, they will probably get rid of these so you don't have them behind you. And this used to be like a VIP lounge back in the day. I don't know if it still is. It is kind of nice getting a different perspective and seeing things, like you got the living seas over there where you normally couldn't stand here and see, well you could, the pen trading place used to be kind of like right over there. I think we're gonna head over to the DVC lounge as well. And also I'm gonna kind of find a quiet spot to get my thoughts. It's really loud back in there. The music, but the jammers were playing, so I was kind of using that as a little overlay music. But other than that, it's really, really, yeah, the music almost needs to probably be about half the volume, in my opinion, for like a relaxing experience, if that's what they're going for. But and maybe that'll change over time. Again, again, this is just my first thoughts, and you never know, it'll probably things will morph over time. Now again, this is just my first impression and I know over time when the rest of the, the walls are removed and the section over here that used to be Communicore, I don't even know what it's gonna be called now, is gonna be open. That central area over there is gonna be more of a walkway. And I would also at night, so Journey of Water, Moana, and the area at Animal Kingdom also kind of look better at night as well. So I kind of feel like that's gonna fall into the whole looking better at night phase. So it's kind of hard to like judge something when it's just kind of just first open. But for me, it's just more really of a, a walkway 
with a lot of a lot of foliage kind of like almost like a walking version of the land almost now i did like how many charging portals there were or like how many seats there were it's almost like an extension of connections cafe so you can get piping hot caffeinated beverage sit out there drink a coffee i also think it's probably not the best thing to see it on the way in but more on the way out so if you're going to world showcase you're watching the new nighttime spectacular the fireworks show walking around world showcase you know doing everything back in the countries and then you're kind of tuckered out walking out on the way out and you want to see the show on spaceship earth that would be a nice kind of relaxing area to see that but i think walking in and seeing that first and foremost obviously seeing walt is awesome but other than that walking in there and that's the first impression of epcot for me i don't know if it was uh, you want to share any of your thoughts yeah what do you think I uh, kind of like I told Adam we were looking at it. I said I think this is the place for families to go and have a recharge. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely not something you want to start your day off with. But it's kind of like the hub at Magic Kingdom. It's just more seating because the hub doesn't have a lot of seating except for the grass the charging grass. ports. Um, but it's kind of a way you can look at Spaceship Earth, relax in the Florida sun, and then go back out for a uh, more fun day at Epcot. You know what was interesting too? I noticed a lot of trees in there. Yes. But not a lot of shade. No, it's going to be interesting how the day progresses. And they'll probably grow over yes. time. The trees. The will... place will get beautiful. Oh, <laughs> the trees will grow. Yeah, the whole thing, dude. <laughs> also, I heard yesterday there was no photo pass for Walt. Today there was photo pass. And the cast member was saying that might not be a permanent thing. But today they got, they got people they out there. Out. Also, None of the photos that the photo pass people were taking photos of us, even on our phone or on the app, they didn't get Spaceship Earth in any of the photos. I took a photo of you and I got Spaceship Earth in there, but all of them were all close up. I kind of thought the, the whole point of having Walt there was to be below right. Spaceship Earth. So I'm, maybe over time, I guess it depends on who the photo pass I think maybe is. they're trying to get you know the photos done today. Because he said true. yesterday was like a 70 minute wait. We made we waited maybe 15 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes. We didn't wait too long. I should probably show those photos. So I think at some point we're going to go over the DVC line. Well, we're going to go to the DVC lines momentarily. But then we're going to maybe do a monorail loop around trying to get a bird's eye. Yeah. Look at those lights right there, dude. Like, those are some serious, yeah. like, That's going to be really cool. Show lights. So none of this is open yet. And at D23, they've scrapped a lot of stuff at D23, including the, the Cherry Tree Lane area back in, back in the UK pavilion. But also there was going to be, like, a three-story building here that you could watch the the nighttime shows and it, it's not here now they they, they kind of scrapped that idea which i don't even know how that would be because that would really obscure it would have been an eyesore man yeah oh dang i was doing that whole little like kind of rant over there hoping the monorail would go by and then i stop and it goes by maybe the monorail doesn't share my my sentiments on the first impression of this but again this is also i think over time it's going to be a nice little area to go from point A to point B. So that, that I will say is gonna be great. All right, got my name on the list. Decided to walk up here at the jumping fountains as the monorail's going by and just kind of wait our turn to go up above the image works into the DVC lounge, which is right up there. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see when finally all those walls eventually are taken down, how it's all gonna kind of pan out. And I feel like my experience or my thoughts on it will probably be a little different once it's all really fully operational. Right now, again, it is only very partial. They've only removed like uh, just a couple of segments there of the of the, the walls. The construction walls are down. So when it's all done, I'll probably have a, a slightly different, maybe a more positive opinion. Or probably seeing it at night might change it as well. But I do like the fact that you can let now walk directly in, and you can go over from like where Test Track is and cross directly over to the land where you couldn't do that before. Before you had to walk all the way around, completely around that way. So it is kind of a nice, like it's a nice little like resting area when you're going from point A to point B in the park. So for that, I definitely can see the the appeal of it. But it just seems like there's just like way too many trees. It is called the garden, so I guess I guess I should have known what was going into expecting when it's called the garden. But yeah, just it's just basically just a big area full of plants. I was also just kind of talking to Micah a little bit about how these are the this is like the original Journey of Water attraction up here. This is almost kind of like the uh, the how the, the precursor to the Moana area with the splashing fountains and the water and all that. So you got one splashing fountain here and then you got Moana over there past the monorail beam and like past the, the new area over there, which is all kind of lots of lots of areas to get kind of get soaked here at Epcot. I believe they've added some new banners through here, the DVC banners. So I'm going to head up here and get go and get myself a sugar free beverage. I believe it is a Minute Maid sugar free from the 
the uh, Coca-Cola freestyle machines, but I love walking through here. It was like the sugar-free cherry limeade. Go with that. And then also over here, they got some snacks. They got some Blaze Classic. You got cheese that's made with whole grain. You got even got some Oreo. And got to get an angle here of the monorail going by outside of the window as well. You always got to get a good monorail view as it goes by when you're up inside. DVC lounge and that sun is permeating down through there. Not, not, as, not as warm in here as you think it would be, like it's like with the open window like that. But definitely nice to have a little sun on this cool, crisp day. All right, there is the photo of Micah and I and Walt. Walt is sitting there, so you can just sit right next to Walt Disney himself and kind of pay your respects and get a photo with the man who came with the vision of Epcot Center. We call it Epcot. All right, we are now going to walk out. Oh my gosh, it is so freaking windy out here. You gotta turn your hat around backwards. Turn your hat around just so it wouldn't like blow off. Look at the flags up here, look how windy it is. So we're gonna grab the monorail, go over to TTC and then come back so we can do the Epcot loop so we can look down in the new World Celebration area. Yeah, we should be able to get on, on yellow. Got a, got a little time for it to loop around. I'm gonna grab another Joffrey's here for the, for the commute. All right, opted to wait on the coffee because we wanted to catch this monorail. So I'll get one on the way. Ooh, they got the heat on in here. Or it feels like they got, maybe they don't have the heat on. Monorail yellow. Should get a pretty good view here from monorail yellow. Yeah. You're like kind of lurking. Well, you were you're almost lurking in the shadows, but now you're- You focused up? Kind of focused up, yeah. Back in the day when my, fam when my family would come here when I was young, my sister would lay up here. But now it's now there's a sign. But this is, you know, this is back in, the 90, early 90s, late yeah. 80s, early 90s. There were the wooden seats in. There were wooden seats? The wooden bench. I remember there used to be something here in the middle. Remember there used to be like a partition? Yeah. Which is kind of strange thinking about it now, there being a partition there. It's like that monorail you found that time. And you like looked in the window. Oh, in the, the desert? Yep. Yeah. automatic <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see this from a bird's eye. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get a little bit better perspective. When I was in there, anyway, I've already kind of stated my thoughts. Yeah, see, it, <laughs> see it from the upper perspective. I do like how many seats there were, though. I just think it's a, it's a better spot on the way out than it would have been on the way in. But what do I know? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, Micah was pointing this out, so I was kind of noticing the, the skyscraper-esque kind of eyesore above the top of Polynesia. It's got a new DVC Polynesian tower over there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. it definitely changes the sight line here at TTC. Good to have the trams back. Listen to this spiel that's going on right now on the monorail. The narrator called it Future World. That is a little outdated at this time. All right, we're seeing it now with the new Celebration Gardens, our Nat World Celebration Gardens now open. You can see it's not all open, but definitely a lot more open than it was a few days ago. Again, I think my thoughts are going to be a little different once it is all completed. 
You can see there's a huge chunk of the footprint there that still is not done. And it looks like there's still a ways to go on that. Right now. All right, we're going to kind of get a view from it from this way. Yeah, even more partitions and walls right there. So really only about probably half of it, or maybe even a third is even open yet. Well, I guess maybe more than a third because you do have the Journey of Water inspired, inspired by Moana down there. But then this isn't even completed yet either. So I would say probably less than half is even open yet. Yeah, you know what that back portion reminds me of? It just reminds me of an extension of this with more seats. Totally. It's the same music. It's the same, same vibe. Same music cues too. Yeah. All right, now look, there's no one at the coffee stand. Perfect. It's game on. <laughs> it's game on. That's the hack. <laughs> team, team Joffers. <laughs> All right, now heading back in. Right, I'm now realizing why Joffrey's had a short line because their system was down. So should we should we battle Starbucks? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll grab Starbucks. It's all part of the experience, Russ. <laughs> we'll grab Starbucks and then we'll go sit back over in the new area and I'll soak in the vibe. I'm gonna make myself love it. <laughs> all right, back over with the jammeters rocking out again. They're kind of like in a different different space than they were before. Oh, you know what? Actually, the Connections Cafe here where Starbucks is does not look like it's too incredibly busy. So we might actually have a, a good... Yeah, this doesn't look like it's too busy in here. Let's do Starbucks. I just, I do love this area. So I guess you could kind of look at that as an extension going out of. Okay, it's starting to kind of grow on me a little bit. My first impression, yeah, but now that I'm kind of like seeing like, you get a coffee, you go sit down over there, you walk through this little section. It's just a lot more of a, of a greenery area than I was kind of expecting. I mean, it's just a lot of, a lot. it's interesting because there's a lot of trees, but not really a lot of shade, but I would imagine over time, those will grow quite a bit. It is kind of nice to be able to see across there. So the land pavilion is way over there. And this, I don't know if I've, I don't really know if I've ever even waited in this particular line. Usually I avoid this, but the line isn't too, too bad. I really like this building in here. I just like kind of the, the architecture of it, the little booths that are over there in the distance. I don't even know what kind of architecture you would call this, but it has like the wooden slats up top there. And then down on the ground, they have this, which is the original, the original, you know, the, the, the drawing of Progress City, which is down here upon the ground, which was the inspiration for Epcot. So you got Progress City kind of right over there too on the ground. You're like walking. Usually the line is so long, you don't really get to see it. But this almost kind of looks, you know what, in a way that almost kind of looks like the new the new uh, planter that's out there. If you sure look does. at this, that kind of does look like that, in a way. This is not as dramatically, uh, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but uh, nether region-ish. Yeah. But it, I can definitely see how what is over there might be a nod to this, right? Okay. Could be. That's a Maybe. great observation. I'm going to pretend it is. This is a little bit more oval and not more... This is... Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, the, the, the undercarriage. There you go. And whenever I'm on the job, I like to give my undercarriage a bit of a, how's your father? All right, it's all making sense now. So you look at this, and then you look out across the way. I'll try to zoom in. Now, I'm, actually, I think I'm going to show a photo of like an aerial view of it. Hopefully, it, hopefully this video doesn't get struck down. <laughs> yeah, there it is in all its glory. It, I don't know. It, I guess it kind of, I mean, you look at it that way, it's kind of like a sideways eye. All right, here's a really good photo. Micah's friend took a photo from a distance here, sent it to him, so I'm kind of showing it now too as well. So that's got Spaceship Earth in it. Yeah. And there we are sitting next to, next to Walt the Dreamer getting a photo pass from the cast member. So I really like the photo pass. I have that added on my AP, so it's nice to have that. But I really like this photo. All right, grabbed our coffees now. I'm gonna head back out over here to the area and relax. All right, after sitting over there for just a short little time and then enjoying the, the coffee over in that kind of area, I'm definitely starting to kind of enjoy it a little more. I kind of think like maybe at night, I can see as an annual pass holder kind of popping in very quick like. Maybe just like heading over, meeting up with some friends, maybe having a snack and sitting in the area. The only thing I don't like is the music was just so incredibly loud. I feel like maybe because they're doing construction in parts of the area close by, that maybe they have the music louder than it needs to be. I would say that would be like my biggest complaint, that the music needs to be about half as loud. Because it almost has like that kind of like that bar feeling or you're in like a restaurant that's like you're yelling at the person next to you just to try to like have some conversation. So possibly that might change. 
change over time. I would say that would be probably my biggest critique of the area would be the music and the feel of it is not relaxing at all because the music is just so dang loud on the second day it's opening. And it might be because they're doing the construction over in the other areas and you don't want to hear the construction work. So maybe they're using that to disguise it. But the area is nice and, you know, it, it, it's kind of a... I feel like it could be utilized for more stuff than just a huge area to sit and relax. But I get it. I mean, obviously, I get it. But the music thing was definitely uh, definitely the first thing I noticed uh, as being the one the one for tram back out to the cars. But we're up there just kind of to walk. But the trams are now back at Epcot Center. But yeah, saw the new new area. I always want to call it Future World, but really, it's World Showcase Gardens. And I will say. It truly does live up to the name of being gardens because there are a lot of plants, a lot of foliage, a lot of trees. So it'll be interesting to see five, ten years from now if the trees will be so out of control. If I have to trim the trees down or if they'll remove the trees or what they're going to do with the trees. People are trying to cross. We accomplished it. We did. We saw Walt. We got a photo with Walt. We got a photo with Spaceship Earth. Yep. We saw World Showcase Gardens. Yep. My first impression, I didn't love it. I'm not saying I disliked it, but there were things I disliked about it. But as a whole, I thought it was all right. Yeah. I got to get used it to it. Okay. Got to get used to it. So it would be more relaxing, but the music was not so overbear. How loud was that music in there? I couldn't really think. I didn't really want to. I felt like the whole time we were talking, I was kind of yelling at you. Yeah. We're now we're talking normal. Yeah. I feel like when you go in the former mouse gears, what's that called now? Connections? Connections. No. no. Whatever the shop is. <laughs> mouse gear, former mouse gears. They had the music on in there, and that was at a low enough level. I feel right. like it should be that loud in there as well. Right. But you were mentioning how the construction might be the issue. Maybe the they're trying to disguise the construction. Yeah, they don't want to hear you like them jackhammering and stuff. Yeah. I didn't hear any construction and they were well under work, like they were working in there. So maybe that maybe the music thing did maybe the music thing is intentional. It's all experimental, man. It's a prototype. It's a city or community. Experimental <laughs> prototype. Community or city of of now. Of now, yeah. There's no future. <laughs> but the monorail still says future world on it. I know, the spiel. Yep. All right, check out World of Micah's channel. He will be talking and discussing his thoughts. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Yeah. One last one for good measure for today's episode. There it goes. The monorail. And also, I will return at night to see the nighttime fireworks spectacular that just started. I believe last night was the first night. Now I'm gonna check it out tonight. But I also wanna, I also wanna check out the area I just saw during the day under the shroud of nightfall. So that will be happening. I do like that that is now prominently displayed all throughout the park and massive one that you can walk over right in the center of World Celebration. That's the most I've ever tapped on the trash can.